good. So yeah, that, that today we would, we, I'm going to talk about uh, how to uh, get the chatter. And sometimes uh, if you, uh, you, when you are trimming, you got a chatter, you don't like it. Mm -hmm. right? Because uh, you want your surface very nice and smooth. But uh, sometimes it could be very interesting to get some texture on the surface of your, your ball or your, your, your pieces. So uh, I'm going to try to show you how I kind of uh, uh, do it on purpose to get all the texture. And to be able to get that, uh, of course, if there are many ways, and uh, even the uh, traditional tool, you can still get it too. But uh, uh, my uh, hexo blade tool, uh, I made it myself. It's easier to get the texture. And, uh, the hexo blade is looks like this whole piece um, is about 12 inch and um, usually uh, I kind of break in the middle um, just use a plier um, this is a brittle so it's super easy to just bend it and just break it okay. but uh, to make the, uh, the trimming tool like this I have a 90 degrees like this uh, you have to heat it up Otherwise, when you try to use the plier to bend it, it's going to break, crack, break. So you have to heat it, heat it, and then you bend it 90 degrees. Um, after that, you just uh, remove the teeth and uh, you sharpen it. Um, you can see that I already sharpened all my tools. And they mm -hmm. are ready to go, and it's very sharp. Mm -hmm. okay. um, do, you ever, I'm sorry. Yeah. do you ever use the teeth to give an interesting... Uh, no, uh, yeah, you, sometimes you, if you want it, you just can, you can sharp, just sharpen the teeth part, uh -huh. and you get some kind of a teeth uh -huh. uh, texture, but uh, I, I don't do that, but uh -huh. you can try it. Uh -huh. yeah, you can try it. The only way to get texture. <laughs> oh, yay! <laughs> uh -huh. Right, so yeah, you guys can sit around it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be on the video. <laughs> yeah, and uh, like I say, that usually I like to uh, grind, sharpen my trimming tools before I started. So uh, after years of use, my trimming tool is going to get thinner and thinner. Um, later on, it might be uh, just too thin to trim. So uh, I just break it, and then I can make another one. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. So. You, you have one piece and you can keep on making it until it's getting too short. Mm -hmm. and that's, uh, that's this kind of tool I like because if you buy the commercial one, uh, it costs like three dollars, five bucks, right? But it's very thin, tiny, um, each time you want to grind it and pretty yeah. soon it will be gone, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So uh, for this kind of uh, trimming tool, uh, I like because it's a little bit wider and uh, each time I like to uh, grind it so that it's getting sharper, <coughs> okay? And for, uh, uh, for how to make the uh, trimming tool to bend it 90, 90 degrees, I have a YouTube videos and if you want to know how to do it, you can just uh, check my YouTube video, okay? Alright, so here I uh, throw some uh, balls on the back of this. Uh, I think that many, I, I throw like 13 pieces, so everybody can try one if you wanted to, okay? Oh, great, great, very yeah. nice. And, uh, they, I try to throw it a bit thicker so we can do some kind of an experiment on it, okay? And uh, to get it the, the right uh, texture, uh, the, the stage of your softness is very important. Okay. Um, and you don't have to trim it too hard. Too hard is harder for you too, to get some uh, texture, get some indent. And too soft, uh, it's harder for you, you too to trim. You get a little bit of uh, sticky uh, yeah. clay on your tools. So uh, the, the timing is very important. So uh, you can pass around and to feel it. Okay. And you feel you can just push and uh, maybe put oh, yeah. Yeah, put some, uh, you can still get some uh, indent by using your finger marks, mm -hmm. but uh, mm -hmm. uh, it's quite firm when mm -hmm. you try to move 
the rim, the, the rim is not movable. Okay, mm -hmm. that's the right stage to trim it. But uh, you can still get some internet. That's mm -hmm. the timing of uh, how you are ready to trim. It. Okay, and uh, for getting the piece on the wheel head, there are two methods I uh, usually do. Uh, if I have a finer clay, usually I get water and try to get my uh, pieces to stick on the wheel head. Okay, and if you, you don't know how to tap center, that is a little bit uh, hard for you to do it that way because uh, once you get to your center, you have, when you have water, you, you play my stick on it and it's hard for you to move. So if you, have a, if you know how to tap center, then it will be easy. You just brush a little bit of water and then you tap center and then you just push it and that's it. Um, but the other way is you try to get a clay around it and try to use clay to hold it. Okay? But this way, because you have a clay there, so you cannot trim all the way down to the bottom to the rim. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the the other problem. Then you have to turn it over and uh, uh, trim the rim if you want it to trim. But most of the time you don't want to trim the rim, so you want to make your rim nice and ready. Make it if you want to thinner. If you, when you're making it, you make it thinner. Okay. <laughs> So this is the two way of uh, uh, how to stick the piece. We okay. They all, they all okay. Center, yeah. Okay. So. <coughs> right. So now I'm going to use my method of uh, tap centering and try to use the water to hold the clay on the wheel head. <coughs> so first, I brush a little bit of water here, and maybe you can moisture the rim a little bit. Yeah, try to put it as center as you can, but it's not so sure, so you have to spin the wheel to check it. It's almost oh, there, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah but uh, it's still not quite, okay? It's still not quite, so I have to kind of uh, lightly tap it, okay? Wow. <laughs> I would love to learn the other way. Yes. <coughs> Do you look at the movement? Going out or in? Uh, yes, there's a, you have to practice it, okay? Um, there's a way I show people how to practice. It's also on the YouTube. But, I've watched uh, it 10 times. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so now it's a very, even an easier way to show you, okay? Uh, because when, like, I try to move this part, okay? This is the off center, okay? Let, let me show you. This is the off center. So when the opposite, I, I'm trying to use my left hand to tap it uh, because my right hand is holding the tool. So once sometimes it's not in the center, I can tap it right away using my left hand. That's my idea of using my left hand. But if you are right hand or you get used to use your right hand, it's the same method. Okay. So this is the way I show the, the uh, beginner. Okay. On the splash pin, you kind of measure. This is the twelve. A clock okay, from my position, mm -hmm. and usually this is a, this is a eleven o'clock. So I usually like to have an indicator, okay? Like you can put a needle to or something oh my gosh. there. <laughs> so when the up center spot comes to here, you know your left left hand should be ready. So the distance travel from here to here should be the distance and the time. I tap my hand on money. No. <laughs> okay. On a YouTube video, I, I show you that you know you you check this point, use your eyes to check this point and this point. Mm -hmm. But this is even a simple way because you have indicated there, so you know when I'm spinning the wheel. See that? Mm -hmm. Come closer, so you know always come closer to eleven o'clock, and then my left hand gets ready and tap it. Okay. So you can. Find the reason of the spinning speed, okay? Faster than you go, faster, faster. slow than you go, slow, slow, slow. Oh That's how you, you uh, practice. And um, you don't want to use your, your actual piece to do it. You can use a chuck, okay? Right. Which is heavier mm. um, than when you tap it, it doesn't fly away. <laughs> okay? Use a chuck to practice, okay? Mm -hmm. I know some of our chuck has been uh, fly away or something like that, you know? You get some indent or something, but that's the uh, idea. You see that even you can get your, uh, you can use a needle too, or so you get closer. You see that? Mm -hmm. you, okay, you can find the reason here, 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 here. 
So you, your hand gets ready here, you go tap, 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 tap. And your wheel is spinning faster, you tap faster. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's how we practice. Okay? That was worth the whole lesson. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Camera okay? Oh, sure. Yeah, camera okay, video okay. Thank you want to put it on YouTube? That's fine too. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, when the UPS is stuck on there, so you just spin the wheel and twist it, okay. and pop it up. Okay. All right, so let me do it again. A little bit of water, so I can find it as center as you can. Okay, it's almost there, not 100%, but... It would be. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so once you got to the center, Pressure, okay. Um, it's stuck. Wow. It's stuck on the wheel head. Okay. That's so much better. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. So try to put it far away. Let's see if I could get it. Wow. Yeah. Just tap, 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 tap. Maybe because his holes are so centered to begin with. <laughs> well, if you, you know, again, if your piece is not centered, you just try to center. You, your eyes focus on the spot that you want to trim. Mm -hmm. Like your rim is one circle and the, the, the body is yeah. one circle, yeah. a different circle, that's okay. You just center, your eyes just focus that spot that you want to trim. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right, so <clears throat> this is the uh, trimming part, uh, the uh, centering part. And now, like I say, the uh, trimming tool. Uh, why uh, I'm using this? Because you see, this is made out of a hacksaw blade, so see that it's so bouncy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so when you try to uh, trim, if your tr tool is bouncy, then it, it helps your tool to jump. Okay, like here, I'm not even trimming, I try to hold my tool. It's a longer one, and then at a certain angle, like you want your uh, clay to kick back your tool, so you are holding at this angle. You see that this is 90 mm -hmm. degrees, mm -hmm. and kind of a, mm -hmm. go over the 90 degrees, mm -hmm. and then you speed your wheel faster. You see that? My wheel is hard for you to see, but my wheel is really start to jump. Wow. So oh, the are jumping. you using the whole of the out Yes, that the there are they, uh, there are a couple ways to manipulate the different mm -hmm. texture. Okay. Like here I was using the whole blade. The whole, yeah. okay. oh, okay. But you could use the corner of the blade yeah. to get different texture. And even you you hold it at different mm -hmm. position, you get different mm -hmm. chatter mark, okay? So let me try to remove it. And what if you you don't want the uh, uh, chatter mark? Sometimes you want it, but sometimes you don't, right? So for this kind of tool, if you use, try to use the corner of this tool, it's stronger because it's closer to mm -hmm. here. So when you're cutting it, like I'm cutting here, I'm using the corner part, okay. then I remove yeah. the chatter mark. Mm. Right? Oh, it's nice when you leave it in the middle and get rid of mm -hmm. the side. Go oh, on. So now I remove the chatter mark. And also, uh, there's one other thing I wanted to, uh, to know that uh, using porcelain, you get a nicer better texture mm -hmm. of the chatter because the uh, this is the uh, B-mix with grog so mm -hmm. a little bit of a groggy side mm -hmm. and uh, uh, sometimes the grog or the, the little bit of uh, uh, impurity gets in the way of the chatter mark mm -hmm. so sometimes it isn't as beautiful as it on um, the porcelain but uh, uh, you could use uh, some kind of a rib to burnish the surface mm -hmm. so your surface will be shinier than you get the contrast a little bit better. Okay, so burnish the surface. Yeah. 
Let me get a, a little bit of a rubber. Are you a stone? Can you use a stone? Oh, yeah. A stone? Oh, right. Something too, I guess. The one is a bit too uh, too hard. No, there is some uh, some good ones, some softer ones. <laughs> the red ones. Yeah, the red one or all the colored ones. Okay. So you see that you burnish the surface, make it more smooth. The surface is smooth, and I was talking about using the whole blade. Now I'm just using the corner. So when I'm chattering, I kind of tip over. Okay. The first one is I'm using the uh, whole blade. Yeah. Uh, th this time I'm gonna tip over. Okay. And when you uh, you try to attack, make sure you you spin your wheel a okay, bit faster. Okay. Oh, faster. Okay. And then you move your hand slowly, but it has to be steady. Okay. Like, if you, you want to try to practice moving your hand like this. Okay, the speed of mm -hmm. you moving your, your hand. Okay. And you want to spin the wheel faster, okay. So now, spin my wheel faster, I'm going to tip one corner. Using the corner, right? yeah, just use the corner, just use the corner of it. So you get the uh, different result of the uh, chatter mark. And if you have a portion, this will look even better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a the different, the second way of uh, holding the tool, right? Move the uh, trimming, the uh, the uh, texture of the okay. Now, there is also other different kind of tool. You see that? It's around the corner, mm -hmm. and you can use that too. Okay. If I'm holding like this angle, I get that. Okay, that's. Okay. Yeah. You're using mm -hmm. the whole. Yeah, just the circle. Just the circle. Mm -hmm. Will you sell those today? <laughs> uh, well, I brought some there okay. if you guys wanted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that one. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I don't. Yeah, I know. You guys have all of them. I don't. No. All right. So, this bowl is going to get very thin. Uh, yeah, that's why I, I try to throw it on purpose to throw it a bit thicker. And this time I'm going to just. Uh, well, this is the only one that's the, uh, the bottom. These are all made. Yeah, these are all uh, strapping material, so they're they're not they're stiffer. Oh, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I right. could bang what I have too. Yeah. So this time, I was using this one. Right now, I'm gonna tip over, use a little bit larger corner here, okay, for the bottom. Oh, it's hard to see. Okay. It's a nice, it's a nice uh, texture. On yeah. the yeah. So it's different. Okay, it's yeah. different. Yeah. This one yeah. cut a little bit deeper. Okay. So for all the uh, angles and the different kind of shape, you can make all different kind of a texture. Okay.
<laughs> right. So this time I'm going to use the whole blade. Okay. This part. Okay. But this part is hard to uh, get the initial to uh, start to vibrate. Mm. So it's easier when you vibrate at this angle. Mm -hmm. So my beginning, I will start to get this part cut into here. Mm -hmm. So this part will try to trigger the vibration of my tube. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like try to cut it, cut it this corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh -huh. the foot here. Let me trim the foot a bit. Okay, so I am trying to cut it here. Try to initiate. Mm -hmm. Okay, you see the vibrate now? Mm -hmm. And then I just go all the way. Um, you see that I'm holding my tool, I'm holding my tool loosely. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's wonderful. That's so how you work. got the straight, like uh -huh. a flu, flu mm -hmm. kind of a texture. see why you want to move at the same speed. Yes. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you wouldn't get those nice. So it's yeah. nice. You got a very nice, um, like a fluting texture on this ball. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Right. And it's deeper. See that? Mm -hmm. It's deeper. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like that a lot. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the chattering. And you always do the chattering first, and then finish the foot and all that. Oh uh, no. no! I do the chattering the last. Okay. Usually, mm -hmm. okay, usually I do the chattering the last. But because I, uh, I, I want to show you so many different ways of doing it. Mm -hmm. So I start with the one the clay sticker. But mm -hmm. once for your arm pieces, you want to trim everything that ready and nice and very beautiful, very flat surface. And then you do the final chattering. Mm -hmm. So you leave your chattering mark there. Mm -hmm. okay. Show me how you held that tool again to get that. This, okay, I'm holding just like this, mm -hmm. okay, but very loosely, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. And you want to try to initiate, trigger the vibration from, from this to from catching it. Okay. When you catch it, oh, okay. see the so angle? You're, you're catching. Yeah, I'm catching the foot here. Okay. So my, my tool starts to vibrate. And when it starts to vibrate, I try to move my wheel. Oh, faster. And you speed down and flat. Well, and you, you want to start faster at the beginning. So, if you want to design like that, then you would do your foot last. Is that right? No. No. No, mm -hmm. he's just saying he's... Oh, okay. Yeah. No. So, you see, see that? The second cut, I still get the same mm -hmm. chatter yeah. mark. Okay. And now I can show you how I finish my piece. By you see that when I'm trimming, usually I'm holding my left hand here and with my thumb extend it out. So I got a support. Mm -hmm. You try to trim this, there's no support. Okay, mm -hmm. so try to find a very good support of your hand. So I extended my left thumb out here. So. I'm used my whole hand to hold in oh, okay. the tool, okay? And here too, try to go. So I flatten the, the top, the, the bottom the level, mm -hmm. and then this hand goes, hold it on the side, and then using the corner of my this tool, To cut there, so I got I get to see that this is gonna be my bottom, mm -hmm. right? And then I need to remove the center of my clay, so I'm using the corner of my this tool, go and dip in and drag my tool to the other part. You have to hold your tool very tight, otherwise mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. the clay is going to drag your tool mm -hmm. and then you will have an unpleasing <laughs> cut. Okay? Mm -hmm. So hold it very tight and using my corner, I start with my corner here. Mm. See that? 
only two cuts and you remove a lot of clay. Mm -hmm. So you use this tool for all your trimming? Yeah, basically, yes. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Well, of course, I have different shapes of tools. You know, sometimes you're not trimmed enough of the lid. There's a, a you should use this, this, there's a circle you can go underneath and mm -hmm. trim mm -hmm. the knob. Oh, I forgot to bring my other uh, very uh, useful tool to measure the thickness of the bottom. You know, I have all of your blades. Uh, yeah, it's not a blade, it's a, oh, okay. oh, it's a ruler on the chapstick. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I forgot to bring it in. Uh, I should have. So that you will learn lots of different uh, measurement, how you measure <laughs> the right thickness. Yeah, because Digging away there at it. Yeah, <laughs> you're still afraid of, you know, I keep digging it in and you might cut through it and how you how do you avoid it? Yeah. How do you avoid yeah. it? Can you hear or feel? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I could do I could do that. I can hear the sound. Okay? Yeah. This sounds to me still quite thick. Oh really? I, yeah. I just <laughs> go. Okay. Until I turn to the, the stage uh, it, it, when I tap it. Like a drum, like a drum, mm -hmm. like a drum and then you mm -hmm. stop. Or there's one other way for beginner too. If your clay is a soft, as, this actually I consider a bit soft, okay? Mm -hmm. Like mine, you can just use your finger to just push, okay? Mm -hmm. See if the bottom is movable. Mm -hmm. If you try to, uh, if the clay is going down, uh, you can try, you can feel the, uh, the clay is moving down. Then you have to stop. Yeah, <laughs> that's another way you, you go do it. But uh, uh, maybe uh, next time or when you come into the open studio, I can show you how I use my measurement. I get a ruler and a chopstick. I can measure yeah. the mm -hmm. thickness of the bottom, and then you know how deep it can go. Mm -hmm. And after that, what about the sides, the body? The, the, clay on the, uh, the body, usually I don't care about the body. When I throw, I know that's the thickness. So I have a little bit of uh, idea how, how far I can go. All I care is the shape for the side. But the body is very critical. Especially the way I, I throw. I throw it up the hump. Mm -hmm. And when you throw up the hump, you don't compress enough. Um, if you don't trim thin enough, you're going to end up with an S-crack. Oh. Okay? On um, my uh, experience, if you trim it within three millimeters, I would say about uh, one-eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. Okay, three millimeters, and you're fine. You'll be fine. But if you leave yeah. your bottom, when you throw up the hum, okay? If you leave your bottom more than a quarter of an inch, I guarantee 100% you get an S-crack. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. Wow. And that's in, I'd probably go right through. <laughs> so that's why you want to, okay, yeah. hear the sound, tap it, and you know, or you want some, some kind of measurement to guide you, yeah. okay. size of the foot. Okay. And, um, I would say the smaller the more elegant looking. Mm -hmm. But has to be stable enough. Mm -hmm. When you put it on the table, mm -hmm. it don't it doesn't tip over easily. Mm -hmm. So that's my my own judgment of making the foot. What size of the foot should be? Okay. 
even don't you make the indentation so that when you glaze it, you can hold on to the foot? Uh, yeah, usually I, you see that? Oh. I make a little indentation yeah. there. Uh -huh. And I make my foot a bit taller, so, so I have more easier for me to grip, yeah, yeah. To grip yeah, and uh, dip it. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, the, the foot uh, a bit taller, is, is, it looks more elegant, yeah. mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. So that's why I, I told you that I like to trim the foot first, everything ready, and then I do a chatter mark. Like here, I remove the chatter mark. Right? So try to trim everything that is ready, and then Chatting mark. Okay. Oh a little bit now it's been beautiful as before. Because I've been trimming a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You want to do it at, at the very first time and get it right at the first time. And um, after I trim, I usually like to use a shiny stone to burnish the foot. Because this is gonna be a place on the table mm -hmm. serving something. And you don't want to scratch the table. Okay. So the bowl. And spin the wheel and try to twist it. Okay, twist it. Wow. So <laughs> that's a bowl. Um, the rim is a bit thick because uh, I thought uh, I, I make something for you guys to practice, so make it thick. <laughs> Usually my rim is kind of a thin, so that it looks more elegant. Mm -hmm. okay. That's that one more. Let me see if I can uh, show you the... Uh... Oh, this is the hard oh, part. No. <laughs> oh no! How pretty that is. So try to uh, cut it to show you. That's the um, how it looks after trim. Plus, you have that continuous curve all mm -hmm. the way, yeah. Yeah. which is nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. The way yeah. it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the uh, oh. gathering.